in this video, we are going to open and edit an Apple Pages Keynote or Numbers file. So we're gonna to go to the class and to the assignment. You'll see the files. Um, in this example, I'm gonna be using a Pages file, but this will work with Numbers and Keynote files as well. So I'm gonna tap on the file. If the file is too large, you may get a message that says file is too large to preview or unsupported file type. You may also, when you tap on a pages keynote or numbers file, get a preview or sorry, something went wrong, try again later. Don't worry, the file is there. What you're gonna do is tap on the share icon in the upper right hand corner, and that's gonna open this file in your Google Drive. Now we are in the Google Drive app. From here, you may or may not see a preview depending on how large the file is that your teacher has shared with you. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna go to the top right corner where the three dots are. We're gonna tap on those three dots. And the option we want to choose is open in because we want to open this file in its native application. So we're gonna tap open in. It's gonna prepare that file for export. And then up at the top, you see a number of different applications. We're gonna swipe until we find the app that will open this file. If you don't see it, we're gonna tap on more, and then we're gonna swipe, and it's gonna give us the different suggestions. It does now say copy to pages. So we're gonna tap copy to pages. If this was a numbers file, you'd tap copy to numbers. And if it was a keynote file, you would tap copy to keynote. So we're gonna tap. It will then take that file and send it into Pages. Now I am in view mode on this document. If I need to edit the document, I'm gonna then tap on the edit button in the upper right hand corner. I'm gonna make my edit as required by my teacher. This version that I am working on is currently on my device. So once you're done working on your file, we have to now get it back to Google Classroom to share with our teachers. So what I'm gonna do is tap on the three dots, then we're gonna tap on share. What I would suggest you do is save it first to your Google Drive and then go to Classroom and attach it from Classroom. So I'm gonna tap Drive. From here, it's gonna ask me what file am I saving at the bottom I'm gonna pick where I am um, sharing that file to. So I'm gonna to go to my drive. If I wanna pick a folder, if I have folders for my classes, I may pick a folder. I'm just gonna save it to my drive. So I'm gonna tap save here. And now that upload button is available for me to click on. So I'm gonna click on upload. It's going to upload my file to Google Drive. So then now I'm gonna go back to Classroom to the assignment. So now I'm gonna to need to attach my copy that I edited and worked on so my teacher can grade it. So I'm gonna tap on your work at the bottom and then I'm gonna tap on Add Attachment. The file I need to attach is in my Google Drive, so I'm gonna tap on Drive. I'm gonna to go to my drive where to save to, and there is my file. It's going to attach the file. You may need to give it a second, depending on how large the file is, for it to attach. If it doesn't show up, you can, um, minimize this and try refreshing to get it to appear. You may also need to completely close Classroom and reopen for you to see it. Once it's attached and you're ready to submit, you'll tap Turn In and Turn In again to turn it into your teacher for grading. <music>